Well, hi everybody, it's staycation time again, and today we're going to, where are we going, Brian? The Anvil Inn. Are well, we going to the Anvil Inn, but where are we heading for? Weymouth. We're going to Weymouth. Now, we used to do that a long time ago, back in the day, as yeah. lads. Young boys. And we're going for like, a, it's not really a reunion, but we're going to see what it's like now. So this used to be part of the rendezvous, it's now called the Anchor Inn and it's okay, it's not too bad. There's a few people in here tonight but it's not expected to be too busy. So we'll see how tonight pans out. As if you have a choice, even if you cannot hear my voice, I'll be right beside you. So the rendezvous by night, and this is the drawbridge by night. So Steve, what's this place called? This is the boot, right? Yeah. Officially, it's the oldest pub in Weymouth. No way. Yep, it is. And do you know how old it is? I think it's around 600 years old. 600 years old, wow. Well, it looks nice from the outside. Yep. Let's see what it looks like from the inside. Shall I pay for this or shall I just look at it? They're not in there. They're not in there. No. Yeah, they're good. 
morning folks, it's uh, Saturday morning, a bit croaky this morning, had a few too many last night and a kebab to top it up. But this view is absolutely amazing. I'm going to take you a bit further just so that you can have a look at the, uh, the bay. <laughs> Steve? So during the war, Terry, Weymouth was bombed 54 times. 54 times? How do you know that? Just do. Just do, okay. Yeah. Wealth of information, this guy, Stephen. So take a look down there. So we're going to walk all the way down there and just show you what it's like at the bottom. Yeah, it certainly is a good, lovely day today. Yeah. So there we have the King's Arms and Bennett's Fish and Chips. Yeah, but like I said, they've got, they've got enough money. I mean, we, when we went to... And if anything else, they've got the yeah. So we went to the uh, Royal Oak there last night and next door to the Anchor, as well as uh, some other places. Thoroughly good night. What was that, Steve? All these bars are extended mm -hmm. into the road now because of COVID. All right, okay. So they got, because when they had to have outside, they drinking only. Yeah. And they, they've done that over there as well, haven't they? Yeah. Certainly plenty to do here. So Steve's just uh, pointed out another fact. This side is actually regarded as Weymouth. And that side over there is what, Steve? Malcolm Regis. Malcolm Regis? Malcolm. Well, there you go, I didn't know that. So just coming up to Brewer's Key. Yep, bit of Punch and Judy. Let's go and take a look. shouting at blocks of wood. Oh, back to it. I'll get my own back on you, you silly, smelly old sausage. Oh, it's the way to do it. That's the way to do it. What's up? What was that? So right now we're heading towards the fort. We've got about 40 minutes left on the car, so we've got to get a move on. Someone's having fun down there. A little doggy. <laughs> so 
so I guess that must be the fort. Let's go and take a look. This is Aguido. Hi Agu Aguido. Hello. <laughs> so uh, you're going to tell us a little bit about this place. Okay. So this is the No Fort. It was built uh, between 1860 and 1872, primarily in defence of Napoleon III. Okay. The nephew of the Napoleon that everyone remembers. Um, built because he had aspirations in 1848 of becoming emperor. And when he did finally become emperor, he thought of invading the UK like his okay <laughs> so it's built in a D shape mainly facing towards the out the sea as the forts reason for being here was primarily sea defense okay bigger guns being on our west side and smaller guns that. Yep. being on the east side facing okay. towards the town you got a mighty big cannon up there somewhere. A gun. Yeah. Fantastic. And are you open all year round? Open all year round. Um, 11 till half three last centuries and close at four o'clock. And what are the uh, admission prices? Ooh. Adults, £9.50. Uh, con concessions, which are over 65s. Veterans, serving military personnel. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Very interesting. Thank you. So this is a, a nice little spot there, Steve. Yeah, it's the Stone Stone Pier Cafe. All right. And uh, in the Stone Pier, where a lot of people watched um, Ben Ainsley win his gold medal and others in the Olympics. Okay. In 2012. Yeah, they kind of cleaned up Weymouth around about that time, didn't they? Yeah. Uh, for the Olympi Olympics. Yeah. It's getting a little bit cooler now, I must must say. It is. Anyway, moving on. So this is where you can actually get a ferry to the other side. And here you have the uh, Weymouth Sailing Club. And they seem to be pretty busy at the moment. Right in the background there you can see the pavilion. So it's getting quite busy, let me see. And I think we're gonna be late for the car park. See how we get on, hopefully no ticket. <coughs> Smells nice. Well on my vlogs, as you know, I've always got something Pretty amazing to show you. Just take a look at this. Look at that. Wow, that is amazing. Not good if you suffer from vertigo. Sometime. Look at that view. Yeah. Anyway, moving on. Right, time for some liquid refreshment right time for a flat white 
good old knife there to stir it all with. Put the lid back on. Turn it around. And sip. So this is called the Pulper Inn and it's uh, right next to the lighthouse. Looks like a lovely place. All right, so we're now at the, uh, the Cove House Inn. And this just has to be 350 years old. And it's a grade two listed building. Fantastic views out there. Thank you. Please ask one of the staff. <laughs> Which sounds brilliant to me. I only found out about it. Sorry, I'm going to get there again on this one.
morning folks, it's Sunday morning, it's 10 o'clock and we're gonna go for some breakfast right now and after that we'll head back, leave Mike here with Steve and I'll take Brian back. I thought I'd just show you this, the, the marina here because you can't get enough of this. But it's been a lovely time, we've had a, a really good time here in Weymouth. And look, it's a glorious day again, absolutely wonderful. But anyway, I'll see you in the next one, take care. Thank you.